So I'm going to attempt today to refill my Zebra disposable fountain pen. And in order to do that, you need a piece of plastic tubing. It's cheap enough. I got like a meter of it because um, I'll use it for my fish tank as well. Um, but yet some plastic tubing about the diameter of the pen. Tighter the better if you can. And what you need is some ink syringes. These are specifically for ink. So they don't come with sharp needles or anything. And this needs to be able to fit onto the end of the tubing. And all of mine are slightly too big, too small. Oh, there we go, golly. So that fits onto the tube like so, and the pen, is, that's gonna go there on the pen like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use vacuum to um, suck the ink. As you can see, the vacuum is working because it's sucking the ink up the pen. So I'm just gonna release that vacuum and I'm going to get my ink that I'm going to use. That's the, let me get some gloves on. Do put gloves on for this because um, otherwise you could get covered in ink. Couldn't find the fingers for that one. Right, okay, let's just put this back in there. So I'm gonna suck, I'm gonna put in about, probably only a mil or two. So I'll put a couple of mil in my syringe. No, uh, maybe one and a half. No, that's gonna be too much, isn't it? I'll do one and a half mil of ink. I'm gonna push this in here. And I'm going to hope that my tubing is tight enough to force the ink through the into the pen. So I'm going to inject that in there. And as you can see, it's going through the feed. And what we do is we just keep using the vacuum pressure and pumping that ink through the feed. And slowly but surely, oops, as long as you don't overdo it, slowly but surely, the ink will go into the pen. Where's the viewing window? Okay, I'm going to have a look how much ink I've got in here now. I'm going to take this off. It does work better when you've got a um, tighter piece of tubing. But my zebra pen has now got more ink in it. But in my ink window, it's took it up to there, so I could put some more in, to be honest. So I'm going to try this on my platinum disposable pen. So I've put the tube there, and it's a tighter fit on this one, so I'm hoping it will work better. Trouble is, getting hold of the plastic tube is the hard part, and the tube I've got is not quite small enough for a really tight seal. But I can see ink flowing into the body. So I'm going to draw up for some air again and watch through the window. Need some more air. And I'm going to just push through. I can see ink I can see ink now in the ink window. This is a messy process. It's 
especially if you, the tubes you've got aren't quite the right size. Saves me breaking the um, pen trying to refill it because other people have done it where they've pulled off the nib. That seems to have filled it. That seems quite, uh, yeah, that's quite full now. So, yeah, that's how to how you can refill a disposable fountain pen without taking it apart, potentially destroying it.